when we talk about the pioneers of hip hop and we talk about those that laid the foundation, you know, uh, South Bronx, and then we got Jamaica, Queens, we got Brooklyn, and we got all the other barrels that came together to form this thing called hip hop. Each and every OG pioneer played their part. Okay? When it came to the dancing and the moves, you know, a lot of it came from Africa, Kenya. When it comes to a lot of, you know, from the DJs to artists, a lot of them were multicultural, you know? Rather, they came from Caribbean descent, Puerto Rican descent. So when we talk about hip hop, it became a culture movement in its own. From rhyming to break dancing, pop locking. You know, we 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 acknowledge crazy legs. We acknowledge, you know, Melly Mel. We had, we had, we acknowledge Africa Bambata. We we acknowledge a lot of those pioneers. Nineteen seventy three, Cool Hurt comes out for all to see. Nineteen seventy four, Zulu Nation brings peace over war. 1975, Crazy Legs, Rocksteady is live. Male and female hip-hop MCs. Because back then, you know, it was sending a message. And it started with, uh, you know, the graffiti. It started with all of that. You know, Professor Griff sheds a whole light on that. So we dive in deep to them things. This is no shade, no diss on Tariq Nasheed. I think Tariq Nasheed is an amazing individual. However, when you talking about separating, what is it, FBAs or whatever the case may be, separating yourself and who founded what first and who's this and who's that, if you ain't ever been to New York or you are not a New Yorker, you got to put some respect on it and you got to make sure you have concrete evidence to support the words that come out of your mouth. Nineteen seventy six, Grandmaster Flash comes with the scratch and the mint. 1977, that's when the word hip hop came out of heaven. 1978, the Coal Crush Brothers digging in the crates. You have to. All right, we don't we don't do division. We don't create division. That ain't that 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 ain't the thing. But what we do support and what we do talk about is the origin of hip hop, the history of it. You don't believe me? 1979, if you can hang, we get the Sugar Hill Gang. 1980, you got Chief Rock, a Busy B, and Mercedes Ladies. He's giving you a history lesson in rap form. It gets no better than that. There's so many ways I could have broke this thing down. 81, that's when we get Funky 4 Plus. 82, a movie named Wild Styles in the theater there, yeah. And that's where I, and that's where I leave that. I'm a firm believer of the real true history of hip hop. From pop locking to break dancing to rhyming, all of that. 
and we already know what well, maybe most don't know a lot of the moves came from Kenya a lot of the moves came from Africa to be honest with you so shout out to Africa shout out to Kenya because where do you think our moves came from we got to put some respect on it That's when we get Run TMC. 1984, LL Cool J walks through the door. When it comes to a lot of the MCs, a lot of the DJs, a lot of the a lot of the dancers that come from Caribbean descent, Islander descent, Puerto Rican descent, I put some respect on it. I put some respect on their name. They play their part in this growth of hip hop, in this growth of break dancing and pop locking and, and so forth. Nineteen eighty five, Roxanne Shante, UTFO is live. Nineteen eighty six, KRS one, Scott LaRock in the mix. Sit down, understand history. The internet is free. Read, listen. Be careful of information that you get. Be careful of who you listen to. Because you have some individuals that take this hip hop shit very seriously. Especially our pioneers. Especially our OGs. Especially when it comes to breakdancing and pop line. They take that shit very seriously. And I know when um, Tariq Nasheed came out with this movie, Microphone Check, a lot of our pioneers were, were highly offended. And those that were of other descents, descendants, were highly offended. If you're going to call it, call it right. If you're going to speak it, speak it right. Until then, peace, love, and blessings. Shalom.